Greetings to you all, my people, and welcome to another episode of Damole News. All right, my people, I saw this video on Twitter where a northerner from Castina was blaming imams, was blaming uh, Islamic clerics of promoting this Muslim Muslim ticket that have brought hardship to this country, that have brought insecurity to this country, that have brought anger to this country. He also said that Peter Obi or Atiku was the rightful winner of the last election. Alright, I'm going to let you guys watch the video, but please help us like and share this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you. Hello, uh, good evening Nigerians. My name is Mahadi Shuhu, a Nigerian by birth from Katsina State in a locality called Opasori. This outing and clip is titled Extreme Poverty in Nigeria. Where are the sheikhs, the malams, and the ulamas? I am asking this question because prior to the 2023 general elections, many sheikhs, with few exceptions, many malams, with few exceptions. Many ulamas, with few exceptions, were all over. They took over the pulpit of their mosques. They took over the microphones. They were in all media houses, in all public gatherings, promoting the venom of Muslim, Muslim ticket in wholesale and retail. Why do I say it is a venom? <clears throat> in a country with millions of Christians and followers of other influences, other than Muslims, you can't tell me that there is no Christian worth his own salt and name that can become a deputy vice president from the deputy president or vice president from the northern extraction. That is clearly unthinkable. And they know it is not justifiable. There is no justice, no equity, no fairness in that Muslim, Muslim ticket. But they went ahead for some very clear reasons to promote, to protect, to project that unwholesome project of Muslim, Muslim ticket. They influenced their congregations. <clears throat> they quoted verses of the Quran interpreted those verses to serve their own purposes. Before you say Jack Robinson, it was all over. In wholesale and retail, majority of people were convinced that Muslim, Muslim ticket is justifiable. And we saw the results, especially in the Northwest and Northeast. They sold the ticket, even though 40 million people in Nigeria said no. The voices of Obi and the voices of Atiku said no. In unison, over 40 million people. Only 8 million people that are still doubtful bought into the Bobby trap. Now it is Muslim, Muslim ticket at play. Increasing hunger, starvation, insecurity all over the horizon. People are traumatized, confused, bewildered, and dislocated. Everybody today in Nigeria is on his own. Everybody for himself, God for us all, survival of the fittest, and the devil take the hindermost. Yet, we are hearing no voices from the ulamas, from the malas, from the sheikhs. It is inordinate silence. We only saw them going to Niger to plead for, go for war not to go on. But before Niger, it has been eight years of harvest of death under Buhari. Harvest of disease, of delay, of decay, of injustice and forbidding, forbidding of justice. But they kept quiet. They were comfortable with the difficult hill injury inflicted by Buhari's eight years of disaster. 
they were comfortable with the thousands of people being killed and slaughtered all over the country under Buhari. They were okay that people were being kidnapped, maimed, killed, incapacitated, and financially dispossessed. They were okay that farmers were not going to the farm. They never went to Buhari, at least none to us. Now it is the turn of Muslim Muslim ticket. They could go to Niger, but we expected them having sold this ticket of Muslim Muslim ticket. And with the rise in poverty and disease in the country, unemployment, poverty, declining values, we expected them to have the courage, the guts, the audacity, the wherewithal, and the liver to go and tell Tinubu that we sold you in wholesale and retail, especially to the Muslims. Now the whole of Nigeria, Muslims and Christians, are dying of hunger, of disease. Traders, medium, large scale, and lower scale, 80% of them have had their capital decimated on account of your reckless statement on the very first day you were sworn in, where you said no more fuel subsidy. It has decimated 80% of all people with capital. It has increased the number of people who are in abject multidimensional poverty to beyond 134 million to over 200 million. We expected them to tell him pop and play in open space. But mom is the word. Silent is the word. They have gone into inordinate silence. As if they have gone into deep slumber. Why don't they go and do this elementary ethical responsibility? Ulamas, sheikhs, malams, don't forget. If you are looking away now at a time when the Tinibus regime is inflicting, is inflicting injury on majority Nigerians and decimating them, if you are looking away because you are comfortable, if you are looking away because you are rich, if you are looking away because you have shelter beautiful and over your head, if you are looking away because of the various automobiles, including bulletproofs at your own possession, if you are looking away because your children go to the best schools, if you are looking away because you can afford health care and food, do know that nothing is permanent. We've seen rich people turning into poor people. Healthy people, physically incapacitated. Knowledgeable people reduced into nothing. There is no exception. Nobody is an exception to this rule from Allah Ta'ala. If you can't talk now, you will definitely talk. Willy nilly. Now and wakarhan. Whether you like it or not. On judgment day, ulamas, malam, sheikhs, ala ramas. Along with rich men, people endowed with wealth, along with leaders elected and appointed and those who encouraged power.